If you are thinking about a career in tech right now, it almost feels like everything is being replaced by AI, software engineering, data analysis, or even UI design. They are all shifting fast. But there is one field quietly exploding behind the scenes, embedded systems. So the question is, is embedded systems still a good career in 2026, or is AI taking over that too? Today, I will break everything down and give you the complete roadmap you need to thrive in the AI era, even as a beginner. Let's get into it. Embedded systems are computers that don't look like computers. They are tiny microcontrollers and chips hidden inside your car, drone, coffee maker, smart meter, medical devices, washing machine, EV motor controller, or even your toasters. These systems sit at the invisible layer that allows modern technology to actually function. Unlike cloud apps and websites, embedded systems run on low power, limited memory, street timing, and extremely high reliability. Because when your pacemaker, ABC brake system, or drone fails, it's serious. Embedded systems work at the intersection of hardware and software, making them some of the most critical engineers today, even though you rarely hear their name. Let's answer the big question. Is embedded system still a good career in 2026? Yes. Not only is it good, it's one of the most future-proof careers in tech. Global report shows the embedded market is expanding and is driven by electric vehicles, robotics, IoT, aerospace, defense, medical electronics, industrial automation, and AI edge devices. Everything around us is becoming smart, and those smart devices need embedded engineers. Even AI systems need embedded experts to run efficiently on tiny, low-power hardware. This field is not dying, it's exploding. Here is the truth. Companies don't want someone who only knows how to blink LEDs on an Arduino. The industry has moved far beyond that. Here are the core skills companies want in 2026. They require C and C++ for performance critical code, Python programming for automation and testing. They require real-time operating systems like FreeRotors, Zephyr, QNX, and Tredex. They also require communication protocols such as SPI, I2C, UART, CAN, Ethernet, Blitz Low Energy, LoRa 1, and Modebox. They also require hardware debugging skills with oscilloscopes, logic analyzers, multimeters, and JTAG. They also require cybersecurity skills, especially in IoT, where attacks is always on the rise. And they also require systems engineering skills that involves requirements, safety, timing, and reliability. These are the skills that separates juniors from professionals. Now, here is the part that turns this video into gold, the complete embedded systems roadmap. If you follow these phases, you will build real skill and become job ready in the AI era. Let's break it down. Start simple by learning C programming, understand microcontrollers. You can begin with Arduino, then move up to ESP32 or STM32. Learn GPIO, that is general purpose input and output pins. Then learn timers, interrupts, and PWM, that is pulse width modulation. At this stage, build small projects to gain confidence. The goal isn't perfection, it's building practical skills fast. Now, this is where you go beyond hobby level projects. Learn free arrow tools basis, learn SPI, I2C, UART, learn memory management, debouncing, power optimization, and basic PCB design. This phase transformed you from a maker into an actual embedded developer. Now, this is the level companies pay for. They pay for your deep understanding of arrow tools, advanced communication protocols like Ethernet, CAN, and Bluetooth Low Energy. They also require your understanding of how to secure IoT devices, embedded Linux, Edge AI or Tiny ML. They check your understanding of FPGA fundamentals, real-time scheduling, system modeling, and simulation. These are some of the key skill sets that companies require of an embedded systems engineer. Next, your portfolio should include projects like a robotic vehicle, a smart ultra cane, an automatic or smart medicine dispenser, IoT energy logger, remote controlled gate, home automation, and even RFID based system. A strong portfolio makes recruiters say, when can you start? The truth is, frameworks change, languages change, front-end libraries change every few months. But for embedded systems, the fundamentals have not changed in decades, and it won't. This is because hardware constraints never go away. Limited memory, low power, real-time deadlines, safety, security, and reliability. AI can help you write C code, but it cannot replace your understanding of hardware behavior, 
timing, interrupts, or system safety. This is why embedded engineers stay in demand. AI is not killing embedded systems. It depends on embedded systems. Everything is becoming smarter, faster, more connected, and more energy efficient. And AI must run locally on small chips, not giant servers. This is called Edge AI, and it's exploding. Companies need embedded engineers to optimize AI models, deploy on microcontrollers, build robots, develop EV controllers, integrate sensors, and secure IoT devices. AI is not replacing embedded systems engineers. It's creating even more jobs. So is embedded systems still a good career in 2026? Absolutely. It's one of the most future-proof, high-demand engineering parts today. If you want a complete embedded systems course playlist, comment full course in the comment section below and I will make it happen. And if this video helped you, like, subscribe and join our community, The Embedded Systems Diary. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. Like and subscribe to this channel. Like this video so the YouTube algorithm can recommend this video to other embedded system lovers. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one and bye.